Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to another Nth Dimensional production. Today, we're going to go through a guide of how to do a limited sleeper cache. So we we're already entered into the site, which you do by just scanning the site down, warping to it, and hacking the first Hyperflex generator. If you fail hacking the first Hyperflex generator, you do have about 30 seconds to a minute to hack it again. Um, and on successful hack, you go into the site no problem. Uh, if you don't successfully hack it, the site does despawn, so it is pretty important to make sure you get that first hack. Once we arrive into the site, you can see it is a single room here, and there are a few cans littered to and fro, some big old gas clouds, and uh, a few different remote pressure control units, as well as remote defense grid units. And we're going to go through uh, a pretty simple and effective way to take care of this entire site. So first things first, on the right hand side you see a mangled storage depot. This is basically the freebie can. Most of these sites have a freebie can in them, so you can just go right up to it and hack it. There's no penalty if you fail this can, so just give it a go. Keep going until you succeed, and then you'll be able to get the goodies out of it. So in our case, we got <laughs> not very good goodies, only 100,000 isk worth, but that's okay. I have seen these cans drop up to 155 million isk, so it's kind of a, um, a gamble <laughs> of if it's going to be good or not. Next up, you go, just go right to this remote pressure control unit. It's the next closest can to you, and you're going to hack this. When you hack this, it will make this gas cloud in front of you stop doing damage. Right now, if we were to go into this gas cloud, it would do a pretty significant amount of damage, something that you wouldn't want to tank in a frigate. Uh, and I believe only frigates are allowed in these sites. So if you're going to go to the next part of the site, you definitely want to successfully hack this remote pressure can. Uh, on a failure, it sometimes does damage to you. It's only a little bit of damage, though, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Let's go ahead and give this a hack and um, start the timer for the remote pressure cloud disengage. So when you do succeed on this hack, there is a, I think it's a three minute timer for the, the glass cloud to no longer do damage. And it should say, it says depressurized, uh, estimated in two to three minutes. So once you successfully hack that, there's no loot in that can. You just go to this can, which is inside the middle of the gas cloud. And you hack this one just as quick as possible. Again, all of the loot container cans, uh, if you fail to hack, nothing bad happens. So just kind of work quickly. Um, and don't worry too bad if you, if you fail. You can just keep trying and trying and trying. There, we got some loot. We got a blueprint. It's pretty nice, I guess. Uh, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and head up to this next closest mangled storage depot so the thing about this mangled storage depot is that if you are on the side that is closer to the gas cloud uh, and the gas cloud starts to do damage you will also take damage uh, but if you move over to the other side that is not near the gas cloud you won't take damage so depending on uh, how quickly you did that first can kind of determines if you need to go to the other side uh, of this can first or not but we're going to go ahead and do this a nice little quick hack. Rule of six successful there. And we loot that. And we get some more goodies. Next up, we're going to go to the remote defense grid unit. This is kind of in the middle area. So this is kind of where things get a little bit tricky and dangerous, really. Uh, all of these green gas clouds are damaging. They hurt you. Uh, so you don't want to go near them. Also, these egg shape plasma chambers they are bombs they're mines so if you have too large of a signature radius or going too fast near them they will explode and hurt you and so we want to avoid that so i would highly advise to not use your micro warp drive here uh, even if you're in a frigate uh, and even if you have a afterburner it's probably not a great idea to use it um, just because it only takes about 30 seconds to just fly to the next can uh, without any prop mod on, and that's pretty okay, right? 
safety first here, I guess. You just don't want to explode your ship needlessly. So here is probably the most dangerous part of the site, the remote defense grid unit. What this does is, if you look over here, there's an active force field generator by this other can. If we were to approach this storage depot, a bubble would pop up and uh, not allow us to get into this can. So we're going to disable this bubble by hacking this remote defense grid. The problem comes in, if you fail this remote defense grid hack, a big explosion happens about 30 seconds later, and it is a extremely large explosion. So I, if, if you fail this hack, you need to leave the site. It's possible that you can come back to the site uh, at about like one minute and 30 seconds after you've left it. Um, speaking of which, when you get into the site, you want to make sure that you bookmark it because after you hack the first lootable can, it will go out of your probe scanner and the only way to get back to it if you happen to warp off of the site is to uh, use a bookmark. You also have only two minutes after you leave the site or if you're cloaked up in any of these sites. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, or if you are uh, cloaked up in the site for more than two minutes, then the site will despawn. So you want to make sure that you're, you're active and in the site uh, in at least two minute incre in increments. So let's go ahead and hack this. And again, just you can take this one slow and steady. You just need to make sure that you are successful in hacking it. And of course, if you would like to hack like a pro, make sure you check out some other YouTube videos that we have on our channel. Our uh, practical guide to hacking is what you're looking for. So after that, the uh, bubble defense is down and we go ahead and move on over to this uh, dented storage depot. Here, you can go ahead and use your prop mod. We're far enough away from both of the um, egg mines that we can just Pulse our prop mod once, that's good enough for us to get us to this next can. This next can is just a lootable can, so you go ahead and give it a hack. No worries here, if you fail, you just try it again. And we managed to get some goodies there. And now we're on to the last two containers. And there's nothing special about these containers, they're just kind of on the other side of the site. So all we do is we use a prop mod to kind of go away from the site. And then we come back to this can and we kind of just approach it without a prop mod and on the opposite side of the explosive uh, barrel. Once we're close enough to start hacking, we go ahead and do so. And we get our goodies there. And then we just kind of do the same thing for the uh, next one. We do go ahead and pulse our prop mod. So if these uh, containers were to explode, they would start doing damage over time. It's not all in one big explosion. So it is possible if you mess up and see that it starts to explode to still get out safely. Uh, but they do do a lot of damage in the clouds so you want to either kind of like warp out or make sure you're, you're moving in the correct direction already to start escaping them this here is the last can of the site and that's kind of all there is to it these are the beginning the the kind of entry point to the sleeper caches the puzzle room sites uh, I think I've managed to get like 200 million isk uh, as my top high score in one of these sites. Uh, and then low scores are, uh, they can be very low. This one was not a very good one. I think we got about 5 million out of it. Uh, but definitely still worth doing. What can really help and what I generally do is I bring a cargo scanner on my ship. And I will scan all these cans and then just determine which ones I want to take. 
uh, and then only do kind of those cans. And because this is a sleeper site, if you're worried about cherry picking, it does despawn uh, two minutes after you leave. So cherry picking is not really a thing for, for these uh, sleeper sites. I hope you've enjoyed. Of course, like, comment, subscribe if you liked the video. Uh, and also, check us out on Twitch. We stream every day, starting at approximately 15 to 1600 GMT. Uh, and we do awesome exploration content there. And I'd love to see you there. All right, thanks so much. Have a good day.